Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, I'm Monica Rahayu I'm from Silwangi University, Indonesia In this video, I would like to share to you and also explore about one of famous place in Indonesia Actually, this place is a favorite place for the climbers So, you know what I'm going to say I mean, what I'm going talking about is about a mountain And it's called Spapanian Mountain so actually, uh, I will not share it alone. Uh, I'm here with my friend, and her name is Maulida Agisti. So without any further ado, let's go to explore. Hello, uh, Maulida Agisti here, and today we would like to talk about Papandayan Mountain. Uh, Papandayan Mountain is a stratovolcano type volcano mountain and located about 70 kilometers from Bandung uh, and it's actually located in Cisurupan district Garut West Java Indonesia uh, Administratively, Papandayan is in the area between Alpsen Majaya Village and Keramatwangi Village, Cisurupan district Garut Regency and Neglawangi Village, Kertasari district Bandung Regency Papandayan Mountain has a height of about 2,665 meter below sea level and that is causes that Papandayan Mountain be the one of the mountain which, uh, which has a uh, height in trails relatively easy and suitable for the beginner climbers uh, In addition, the location of Mount Papandayan is also easily accessible by local of town and foreign visitors and next is we would like to talk about the ecotourism attraction uh, and in Papandayan there are three main places that you must visit that place such as the first one is exactly crater there are four main crater on Papandayan mountain uh, with very interesting view uh, the first one is Mas Crater, the second one is Batu Crater, the third one is Nangkla Crater, and the fourth one is Han Crater. Nangkla Crater has a wall which is the remark of the November 2002 Papandayan eruption which has very beautiful and stunning natural panorama. Uh, in addition, along the hiking trail in the crater area, there are many holes of magma uh, with a small size and even large size. With the holes come out smoke or weather flavor that often also causes a unique sound. Before the 2002 eruption, Papandayan Mountain had a crater called the Balagadama Crater. The crater was the largest crater in Papandayan Mountain at that time. Uh, with the eruption, the crater disappears and volcanic lake volcanic remains the eruption center of the crater. Okay, uh, and the second one is the forest. Uh, the forest is the remain of the forest that were in the first house due to the eruption of the mountain in 2002. Uh, there is producing the tree trunks with the exotic branches, uh, such as in a horror movie that things and both a vocalistic earth condition like in the Mad Max Fury Road movie. Uh, this area is very interesting to be a photographic or I mean photographic object or people usually use this area to be a selfie background uh, the third one is Japanese Adolis flower or Anadolis Javanica uh, there are two fields of Adolis flower in Papandayan the first one is Pondok Salada and the second one is Tegal Alun Pondok Salada is one of the area of Papandayan camp or people usually camp in this area uh, There are many Japanese and flower trees there 
uh, and the other place that has a large uh, Edwis field in Papandayan is the Alun area. Uh, but the tourists are generally not allowed to enter there because it is a nature reserve area. And then to enter the Alun, visitors need to ask permission to local agency or it's usually called Simaxi or BKSDA. Uh, Papandai Mountain is one of the mountains in Indonesia which has a vast Japanese and Louis field. Although, uh, the great forest fires that struck Papandai in 2015 were enough to wipe out the ways in the mountain region. Besides, uh, one of the mountains in West Java also has a vast and Louis field, uh, namely uh, Mount Gede Pangrango. Unlike Papandayan, which has limited access to, uh, to enter the Edelweiss field, uh, in Gede Pangrango you can find Edelweiss in camping areas or in the hiking trails. Alright guys, uh, can you guess what kind of activities that you can do when you visit to Papandayan Mountain? Actually, there's, there are a lot of activities that you can do but one of them is explore the equator. You know that not all continents in the world have volcanoes and not all volcanoes can be visited by the equator. So Papandayan Mountain uh, has a safe crater to visit directly. So yeah, therefore exploring the crater is a must when you visit to the Papandayan Mountain. And next, yeah, actually this activity is the, what is it, one of the best activities that you can do when you visit in Papandayan Mountains. It's about mountain climbing. Yeah, uh, when you reach the mountain, it is not enough to just look at the mountain from a bar hiking or trekking is the main activity carried out by visitors to Papandayan. If you're a climber, who often climbs mountains and has fast footsteps when climbing Papandayan can be done for one day from the point of climbing to returning to the starting point. But if you want to enjoy the natural atmosphere for longer, especially the atmosphere of the night and the scenery at sunrise, then the rip two days and one night is the right duration. Wow. Next, it's also the favorite activities. It's about photography. Uh, many interesting points and angles to capture with the camera, both for professional photographers and uh, selfies. For sunrise hunters, the view at Papandayan is amazing. A good spot to see the sunrise is near a cliff or cliff located between Hookbird's Hut and Pondok Salad. Yeah, I think uh, photography is one of important activities that you should do when you visit the uh, Pandayan Mountain just for capture a memories that you what is it that you experiencing in that time. Wow, it's kind of beautiful. And next, yeah, I think it's also uh, an amazing activities uh, with your friend and your group is a camping. For those of you who need an atmosphere for com uh, what is it, contemplation away from the hustle and bustle of the city or enjoy the momentum of being together with friends in the nature, drinking warm coffee in front of a campfire in the cool mountain air. That is really wonderful. Then you must camp. Camping can be done at Camp David near the parking area, Hubert's Hut and Gobert's Hut area, and Pondok Salada area. Uh, I think it's one of the, it's one of place that really amazing, that you can enjoy with everyone, even your, yeah, your friend, your family, and then yeah, so many. So. I think is enough from us. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you can enjoy and uh, visit the Papandayan Mountain. Okay, thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.